Hey, what's up? Devin Tucker here for another exciting tutorial on After Effects. So, um, what we're going to be making today is, um, this, uh, it's a 3D room, pretty much, and, um, what it does is circles around to text. Um, we're going to create a new old object and parent the camera to that to follow the text and, um, rotate on the Z-axis and, um, use Trap Go Shine or Glow and, um, show you some neat tricks of Particle World and everything. So, um, Here's what we're going to be making. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to make a new composition. Well, I got to make a new project first. So we'll make a new composition. You can make it 1080 by 720, but I'm going to make it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do 24 frames per second. I'll make it. 10 seconds long and we're going to go ahead and just write some text so I'll just type in first and we'll make this bigger and we'll type in second and we'll stretch this out and we'll go ahead and make a third so after we make our first second and third we're going to go ahead and um, if you can't see the 3D layers you can toggle switches mode and just highlight all of these and um, switch from active camera to custom view one and you want to take first slide it all the way to your right and we'll take second we'll slide it to our left take third push it back and we'll go a little bit up so we'll switch back to our active camera which is our front view uh, we're going to make a new layer, uh, make sure it's a camera, we'll do it 35 milliliter, uh, millimeters, <laughs> milliliters, millimeters lens, and uh, make a new null object, and um, I'll just make this yellow, it's just a habit I have, put null object under the camera, and parent the camera to the null object. So what that'll do is allow you to move the null object instead of just moving around the camera through the controls. So we'll go ahead and uh, start back here. For some reason, the null object. Oh yeah, you got to turn the 3D on the null object too. Okay, that's why I messed up. So our first one, I'm going to go ahead and use um, Trap Coat Shine. So I'm going to go to Effect. Um, trap code shine and I'm gonna go ahead and make this point four um, no boost light and we'll put the colorize we'll make sure it's um, electric and um, stretch this out a little bit and we will um, then turn on drop this down transform and we'll take the Y rotation, put it about right here. So, take our null object, put it right here, and we'll set a keyframe for the Y position rotation, and we'll set a keyframe for the null object the position by going to transform, hitting position, and then right here, go up. And we'll take this, highlight the, um, the first, go down, and s set another keyframe. We'll just do this and um, go ahead and move the null object again right here. And then we'll move on to our second. So we're going to go right here. And we're just going to go ahead and we can um, zoom out 33% by clicking right here and zooming out a little bit more. 
will keep going this way to your left and here we will find the second one oops edit undo scale object now that we found the second uh, we can go ahead and uh, colorize this one too so we can go to effect um, trap code shine and just do the same thing with this one point four take our colorize and um, go ahead and make this electric and we'll go ahead and turn this one um, we're done with our first one so we can take our second um, transform and we'll go back just a little bit in time set the Y rotation and go forward a little bit and um, go ahead and rotate it actually what we're going to do right here from this keyframe we're going to make the Y rotation outwards a little bit like inwards and right here we will turn the right um, rotation up and then we'll move our null object again so we'll create a new keyframe move right here and we'll go ahead and move our null object up to the third one and um, what we're going to do is um, same with the third you know um, effect trap code shine point four colorize and uh, we'll make this electric of course and um, what we're going to do which is different from both of them we're going to go right here about right there back in time we're going to minimize the second one we're going to make a keyframe two keyframes for the last one um, which will be position and scale and about right here when we end we'll make the scale higher and we'll move it to the middle like this so now you have transition from all the words so um, what we're going to do is we're going to take um, my texture which uh, I actually found and we're going to go ahead and put it in the project file oops right here and we'll move it all the way to the bottom and um, we don't set it as a 3d layer we just make it kind of bigger like this and um, I want to change the color so I'm gonna go ahead and make this 100% um, now or 50% which I should have done you know in the first place but oh well live and learn so I'm gonna go ahead and um, make let's see change the color so I'll go to color correction um, hue and saturation and um, bring up the colorized saturation a little bit and the hue go into I find a color I like I'll say light blue and we'll colorize it a little darker right here so that these stand out more it's going to be a little slow since I'm recording and we're going to go ahead and make new layer new solid make sure it's black put the black solid on top of um, we'll drag it down make sure it's on top of the texture and we'll go ahead and on our effects and presets type in particle um, systems 2 put it right on top and um, take the birth rate um, actually first we're going to go to particle I'm going to make it fade out I mean not fade out yeah it's going to be fade out anyway so we'll make it faded sphere and we'll go ahead and make the um, birth let's see right here move it all forward birth color will be dark blue okay and the death color will be light now after we do that um, we are going to um, turn down the birth rate just a little bit and we're going to turn um, on the physics we're going to turn down uh, um, the velocity is fine but um, I think it's yeah it's the gravity so and we can always turn down the birth rate just a little bit 
and um, take our black solid and we'll move this video down a little bit and um, from the end of the video we'll just stretch this so what that will allow us to do is okay that will just, just keep going it looks pretty good so you just made your first uh, 3D rotator with um, let's see uh, letters and stuff well words or whatever it can be an intro sequence or outro so anyway, thanks for watching this tutorial. Have a nice day.